Welcome back to the LPR Trading Group. It's Dave again. I've got another video here for you guys today. Now, I just want to give you guys a heads up. If you guys hear my wife or daughter in the background, they're home today. It is what it is. I want to record a video. I've got a live footprint trade here for you guys today. And uh, what I did, I'm, I'm trading two accounts. That I'm trading an earned a trade, Trader Career Path account, and I'm trading my own account here. Now, the Trader Career Path, I took two small losers off the open. I was waiting for one big trade under low of day. It never got there. So I actually moved over to... Um, a cash account of mine and I took a small trade here that I want to show you guys so I'm gonna play the video here and what I want you guys to look at is these pivot lows right here so this is something that we're seriously interested in if we go back here and we look at the chart that is actually uh, these pivot lows right in this area so what I want to see is I want to see what the reaction is below the pivot lows when price gets under there because typically bad retail traders are going to be shorting these pivot low breaks now if we end up getting a weak low break under the pivots and we start getting buy imbalances to the long side we can actually look to take this long it feels like an uncomfortable trade but that's what trading is if every trade that you entered or were supposed to enter was super comfortable everyone would make money trading this is not how trading works we have to look for the most uncomfortable positions where there's max emotion in the market or max emotion on a given trade now i want to apologize for the quality of the recording because I'm, I'm recording a recording here and my font is is relatively small but what we'll do is we'll concentrate on the colors yellows and greens are buy imbalances and then all of the pinks are sell imbalances so the numbers really don't matter much. As long as we can see the colors, we're good to go. Let me play this chart out here a little bit. And again, I think I actually end up dropping a line in here so we can get a better visual on it. So you can skip forward 30 seconds. And there's a the line. Okay, so I drop a line in here. I've got a line at 3847.25. This is an area that I want to see break. I want to see buyers participate below here with very weak sell pressure. And then I want to look to get long, okay? As I said, bad retail is looking to short this low break in this area, okay? And just for reference, on a candlestick chart, for those of you that are only using candlestick charts, which I do not recommend, um, this is the low break here that we're looking for at that 47.75 area. We'll move this out of the way. Jump forward 30 seconds. Jump forward another 30. Here we go. So we're going into this low break here. I've got my finger on the trigger on my hockeys. We do get a low break. We start to see this yellow here, 21 by 71, which is a buy imbalance. I put three contracts on over here on the right hand side to start the trade up. Uh, my full size on the trade would be probably uh, 10 to 12 contracts. I do not get full on this trade. It didn't give me the opportunity. But I am in a little piece so far. Now, the way we work at the group is if you have a trade that is a lower probability trade or you're not quite sure of the trade yet, why put, why put on full size? Why fully commit to the trade, right? We don't want to fully commit to something that we don't have extreme confidence in. So right now I'm about... 25 to 30 percent sure this trade is going to do what i want it to do so i get on about 25 to 30 percent of my size it makes sense right let's skip forward another candle here now we got another low break right here weak sells are trying to come in this is these are really weak sellers here bad retail trying to short the low of day break we get the 19 by 88 88 is bolded it turns yellow here that's our buy in balance we get three morons we double our position size at this point, I do not get another ad before the, the our, our initial profit target, but I do get an ad on the pullback that I want to show you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump forward a little bit here. So we're still holding the trade. We're still holding full size. Our first target is 56.75, which is going to be in front of these highs. If we're looking at this as a range, we should be taking profits at the high of the range if we're buying the lows. So this is just a simple waiting game. We're essentially in at best price, right? We're in at 47.75, which is somewhere in here. Our stop is here, you know, so we're up, uh, whatever you want to call it, 3, 4 on the trade, and we're looking to get back up to these highs here. Let's skip forward 30 seconds. Going for a nice push into the highs. I'm just marking out these areas, uh, sending it out to the chat room so everyone can reference the trade here. Jump forward a little bit more. And there's our 57 
56.75 target that got hit. Let's actually jump back and we'll we'll just see the target get hit. So we can see what the push of the highs looks like. We're going for a, for a push, strong bars, buy and balances here. There we go. We get target. Our next target target is going to be 59.75. Now 59.75 is going to be based off of this area right here. Okay. We've got a big high volume area. I want to try and take profit within this high volume area. Let's pull the video back up. We'll play it again. Now, since we start rejecting the high of the range, what I want to start looking for is where can I buy a pullback that holds higher and we get a push through the highs? Well, there's two areas I can see. We have this cluster of buy imbalances here, 0 by 27, 6 by 37, 2 by 73, 19 by 59. This is telling me buyers are really participating down in this area. Okay, so if they were participating there before, they should and could be participating there in the future. Another thing that we have in that area is this low right here. So this teal blue area marks our 15 minute initial balance okay so it's the high and low of the 15 minute range of the market open so this was our first target we hit it where would be an ideal place to look for an ad probably into 15 minute initial balance low which coincides with our buy imbalances right so now we have two pieces of the puzzle sort of coming together and creating this area for us so we can see, we'll go back and we'll look into the trade and we'll jump forward a little bit here. So I'm actually looking at areas, making sure my targets are good, going to my volume charts. As we start pulling back into this area, I know that I want to add here. I'm just waiting to put the limit orders out just to make sure price action's cooperating. At this point here, I'm looking into these areas, seeing what the prices are. I'm looking right into here. You can see with my mouse. I want to see where I want to put my ads in this area. I have my candlestick chart on another screen. I'm looking at that as well. I'm identifying the 15 minute initial balance low. I'm identifying these buyers that presented themselves. I drop an order in here for two contracts at 5025 and another another order in here for two more contracts at 4925. Now, the idea here with trading is the best ads are going to be ads that are closest to your stop that make sense because it's not going to dilute your position as much as adding further away from your stop would. So we want to get ads as close to our stop as possible. Let me jump forward 30 seconds, another 30 seconds. So we got filled one order here. We got filled at the 5025s. Unfortunately, it missed this order by two ticks or one tick even. Um, we didn't get the fill on that. We'll fast forward here again. Again, we have another partial up into the high at 56.75. This is what makes sense. If we're buying the lows of the range, we want to be partialing into the highs of the range. And then this piece right here, because I got into the initial trade from the lows, got a partial, got an ad, another partial, I want to leave this last piece to see if it can really, really run. And the last target on that one is going to be 70s and beyond. And I'll actually, this video is going to end here because I wanted to make this video. So I'll actually show you guys what's going on with price now. So this really nice move on price all the way up. I've actually got uh, a target set out at 69.75. We're break even on the rest. Whatever happens here is completely fine with me. Um, this is an, actually a big sell off from the move here. Let me pull up the candlestick chart, but we can definitely hold within the, within this range. Everything is still making sense. Uh, uh, this sell offs a little bit larger than I would have liked, but we can definitely be holding within this range. If we don't hold and we actually come out and stop break even, it's totally fine. The problem with trading is most people are going to look at this high. So this high was 66.25. They'll go over here and look at 66.25 and say, oh, I was up 253 bucks and I gave it all back. I mean, you're never going to top tick the trade. You're never going to bottom tick the trade. You've got to get in the trade. Just let the trade do what it has to do. If it stops you at break even, it stops you at break even. If it gets to your target, it gets to your target. The consistency with doing this is really going to push you forward as a trader. If you're constantly peeling your trades off early, you're going to notice they're going to start going to your targets.
okay? Instead of peeling the trade off early, maybe look for pullbacks that make sense that you can possibly add to. Like I said, we want to add as close to our stop as possible. This is actually a good signal for an ad here, but this is not close enough to my stop to be able to add to the trade. With that being said, I'm probably going to leave this. We're also going to lunchtime. It's 11.20. Anything could happen. We could pull back, break low of day again. We could pull back, hold in these areas, push up. We could push high of day. It's lunchtime. We have no idea. We could just chop sideways like this until 2 p.m., 3 p.m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this trade. I have an average that's down in here. It's very nice. It's below this pivot. It's below this pivot. It's below 15 minute initial balance. Uh, there's a lot of potential support in here before I get stopped out. And if I do get stopped out, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Leave any comments down below that you want answered. And if you'd like a two-week trial to the chat room, let me know down in the comment section. I will get a hold of you, and we will get you in the chat room. Thanks, guys.